guys, I am Jeff the Homestead Dad and welcome to the Homestead. You can see I am sitting in my brand new high tunnel from Nifty Hoops. We installed it yesterday. I've gotten some stuff planted. I'm going to have videos on the installation. I'm going to have videos on the um, first planting. I'm going to have a video on the whole walk around of this thing. But the first video I wanted to do with regards to my high tunnel was how I started going about applying for the grant that paid for most of this high tunnel. Uh, if you, any of you guys know uh, Arms Family Homestead or Alderman Farms, both of those channels um, are what I would consider friends of mine, and they both got grants through the NRCS, the National Conservation Resource, and our National Resource Conservation Service. That's what it is. So there's two ways to get funded through the NRCS. They have. Um, it's called the EQIP and the AMA. They're both different ways. It's the same program, but there's two different funding sources depending on your state. I figure what the two of those stand for, um, but there's different things you want to focus on in your application when you um, apply depending on what the funding is for your state. So what you need to do is you need to find your local NRCS office and you need to contact them because sometimes I think they need, like for, for me, uh, they need my agent needed to come out and do a site survey and we walked the property and kind of figured out where it would work and what it what would work well for it and then there's different things on your application that help you kind of bump up the list um, I was a beginning farmer we've only been here for a couple of years when uh, I applied so that gave gave me more points there's like a kind of a point system so knowing uh, what different things will help you um, is great and if you have a good NRCS agent that is perfect so the program is actually the NRCS funded by the USDA I believe so you need to figure out you need, the first thing you need to do is contact your um, your NRCS agent talk to them um, see what they need to have you do if they need to come out um, and then there's a couple different websites that are helpful um, first of all go to the NRCS like if you just google NRCS grant high tunnel uh, it will bring you up to the NRCS um, website, and it'll show you the the application. It'll show you what to do, and then there's a couple other different sites um, that may or may not be helpful depending on how helpful your helpful your agent is. Because if you have to fill out the application yourself, you want to talk about certain things, and you may want to talk about those certain certain things before your your agent comes out. But if you get a grant, uh, or if you're even thinking about getting a grant, I would suggest filling out the application immediately. Um, there are different funding periods for different states, and the sooner you get in, the sooner, but you know, the more likely you'll be to get a high tunnel grant. Um, for me, I think it was about three years before I got funded. So had I put the you know, application in as soon as we moved here, I could have had this, you know, two or three years earlier. So the sooner you can put your application in, the better. And then if you get funded, uh, and you're not at a position where you're able to do it or you've decided you don't want to put one up, you can always turn it down. You don't have to, you don't have to take it. So um, that would be my suggestion. Once you get your grant, then you have a set period of time to get the grant or get the high tunnel installed. And I believe what I was able to do was I was able to ask for half of the grant up front. You had to ask for it in writing so that you could put the down payment on the high tunnel in. And then my NRCS agent is going to come out next week, inspect the high tunnel, make sure that everything is the way it's supposed to be, and then he will release the funds or he will allow the funds to be released um, for the rest of the grant so that uh, I can use that money to pay the rest of the, um, the fee to the manufacturer. Now, I didn't, there's a, I think you can write the grant over to the manufacturer of the high tunnel. I didn't do that because um, I just wasn't sure what we were going to be doing and what the timing was. So I ended up asking for that half first, um, going ahead then and having it installed, and then I paid for it and I'm going to be reimbursed um, for most of it through the grant. Now this high tunnel was a little bit more than the grant cost, and I believe the funding is different based on your state, um, but I could be wrong about that. So this, the grant paid for all but about $3,000 of this. Now you can find uh, high tunnels that are 
the price of the grant. There are companies out there who specifically make high tunnels to the grant price. Um, but then depending on how much it is, you have to install it because I don't believe um, the grant covers installation, although it might. You have to ask your NRCS agent. Either way, what you need to do is um, find the one you like. And the reason I spent a little bit more on this one is because I thought, it, it, or I know, it is a better high tunnel than some of the cheaper ones. So I paid it, was willing to pay a little bit more out of pocket. Um, and you can get a smaller one, I believe. I don't believe you have to put up. So this one is 72 by 30, so just over 2,100 square feet. You do not have to put in a full size, I don't believe. I think you could say, hey, I've only got size on my property for a 48 by 30. Um, and what they do is the grant pays per square foot and it's up to uh, the certain price, the, um, the 2,100 square feet or whatever. So that's what you need to do. Um, like I said, if you're interested in, in at all and learning about more about my high tunnel, um, go ahead and keep watching, subscribe, hit that bell notification because I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on the high tunnel, on our installation, on all of the features of this one and why I think it was worth um, my time and my money to spend a little bit more. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, you can also check out Arms Family Homestead and Alderman Farms. I will link both of those channels below. Those are two channels that I know. Um, and, and like I said, I am friends with them. And they were kind of instrumental, especially Daniel. Uh, he was the first one that I had heard of that had the, the grant for this um, and really started the ball rolling with it. And then Arms or Alderman Farms also. Um, they are great people. Um, fonts of knowledge and willing to share their knowledge but you can go to their channels and uh, search high tunnel or hoop house and find a lot of information about how they went about getting this so um, i'll leave those like i said in the description below otherwise thank you guys so much for watching god bless you and your family and i will see you guys in the next video <music>